Morning family, this is Ricky. Welcome to Hope for Today. I wanna to encourage some folks who are in a tough spot right now in your life. And I want to remind you of the way God tends to work sometimes when life is not going as well as we hoped or expected it would. And I wanna speak specifically to those this morning who are um, engaged with um, some relationships and some adverse opinions. And to be quite frank, uh, you have a situation where you are conflicted with literal enemies in your life right now. And what does Jesus have to say when we're navigating life surrounded by enemies? Uh, the 23rd number of Psalms, David is talking. And in verse five, he says of God, uh, you prepare a table before me. And the key phraseology is this, in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. One of the, the challenges surrounding Psalm 23, one of the great passages of scripture, is that we are not sure at what point in David's life it was written. Was it written in his days tending the sheep out in Jesse's fields? What is written? Was it written during the days of his uh, tumultuous journey? Uh, with Saul and being embattled over the throne and hiding out in caves and fighting various battles, always on the threat of murder from King Saul? Or was it on the other side of the throne? And is he talking about those moments when Absalom uh, forsook him and overtook his throne? We don't know, but we do know enough about David to know that almost at all times, he was encumbered with enemies. And it's a reminder that in our life, as we try to do what God wants us to do, Satan will deceive some people to thwart our progress and get in our way. Now, we don't hate the people, but we can hate their actions. And that's maybe some of you today. Uh, you are trying to move your family in this direction, but there's one member of the family who just doesn't see what God is doing, wants to complain, uh, wants to kind of thwart your progress. You're on the job and goodness gracious for the life of you. This person won't give you any peace as you try to conduct yourself in a godly way. Uh, some of you are in a church and you know what? God has spoken and wants the church to go this way, but there's a few in that church that are saying, uh-uh, we're going to do it our way. Anybody smelling what I'm stepping in? Never at this church though. <laughs> Never. But anyways, there's enemies all around you. Well, the scriptures tell us that God gives us peace that passes understanding in Philippians chapter three, I believe it is. And so as I consider this passage, I'm reminded that often God doesn't remove the conflict away from us. Sometimes he just moves us through the conflict. And I think that passage of peace in the midst of storm or pieces that passes understanding is so prescient here because often God doesn't remove our enemies. God often uses our example to be a blessing to our enemies, to get them to see God's right path and right direction. Some of you are watching right now and you're just praying, God, get this person, get them in Jesus' name. God, take this person out. God, do this. God, do that. God, do that. And although I can hear what you're saying, because David also wrote those kind of Psalms as well, okay? But at the end of the day, what does it mean to trust in a God who's able to sustain you even while enemies are right there with you? David says, you prepare a table before me in the very presence of my enemies. Translation, God doesn't have to remove the problem makers to minister to the problem. And that's where I wanna encourage you today. You may be trying to climb a mountain that God called you to climb. And like Nehemiah, there are naysayers who are trying to come against the work of God. I want you to know that God can still climb that mountain with those enemies there. God can still make the provision with those enemies there. God can still speak to the clarity that you need even with those enemies there. Put your trust and faith in a God who can bless you even in the midst of enemies that doesn't need to succumb to having to move your enemies away from you in order for you to be blessed. God can love you and take care of you just that well. And so, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. May this be a season where our cup overflows as Jesus continues to move in and through our lives. That's hope for today, and I'll see you next time.